I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are cut out for success. You can do this. And yes, this is nothing but a motivational video. Like, the reason why I am, you know, uploading this right, I'm recording this right now, actually, okay? The reason why I'm recording this right now is because I wanted to make a statement. I wanted to empower you. I wanted to make you feel motivated, encouraged, supported, valued and seen because we need more of that, don't we? We need more people to tell us that you can do it. I believe in you. So I'm that person today. Today I'm that person and I can be that person every day you decide to watch this video. So I'm going to be here in my box, okay? And I'm going to be supporting you because you know what? You really can do it because this superpower and I'm not going to get religious or spiritual or whatever everyone can believe in whatever they want but i'm gonna tell you this this superpower okay has put in each and every one of us okay they've he she they have put this superpowers inside of us and it happens it so happens that some of us have this um we're are raised in an environment uh, where we get a lot of support or some support or I don't know we get a teacher who likes us or supports us or inspires us because you know maybe the teacher doesn't doesn't know you exist but he or she inspires you in some way so you're lucky in that sense okay but there are some other times that we the same people who have been getting all this kind of support for all this time in our lives then we're we're stagnant and we, we get stuck, okay? So, and our friends are gone or our friends are very busy and they're living their busy lives and it's okay, it's fine with that, but we feel alone. So this video is for you and for me sometimes. So, but it's funny to, you know, just watch myself support me in a way, but sometimes I do it. You know, I do this mirror pep, pep talk. I go like, okay, you, know, you can do this. You can do this. You can have all of the cake. You can do this. Don't back down right now. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I'm here is because I really want you to push, push through and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm here. I'm supporting you and anything you want, just Try to look up in the sky. Just go to your balcony, okay? Open the door. A little bit dust, okay? Some sunshine maybe, okay? And then just let the air do work its magic on your face, okay? And maybe just a little bit of breeze and maybe sun and some, some naughty sun rays, you know, just playing there on your face. And then take a deep breath and go like, I can do this. Honey, even if it's, I don't know, it could be a very important presentation. It could be exams. It could be a quiz. It could be an audit. It could be anything. It could be a very important day because life goes on, you know? So anything, it could be anything and you still can do it. Even if it's something that for which you feel that you have not prepared enough, you still have time. I firmly believe that people can change in a matter of hours, which of course doesn't mean that if you have a few weeks ahead of you, you're not gonna start trying right now, okay? So you have to be supportive. I'm gonna play the support and motivation and inspiration card, but if you have the time to, to put in the work, which is my favorite expression, if you have the time to put in the work, then you should by all means make the best use of that time. So if you had one shot, one opportunity, <laughs> back to my Eminem years. So if you, if someone told you that you can do this, you can, uh, if you feel that you haven't, I don't know, uh, laid the foundations uh, the proper way or that you still have um, things to learn in grammar if it's um if it's an exam or you still have to do this if it's something uh, at work or whatever 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 
try to see where one night can take you. Like one night, one night of pure, um, undisrupted, 100% focused, uh, cool, calm and collected night of pure effort is going to take you. I remember once I was in the third year of senior high school. So I was there and I, um, I, was, I, I used to um, attend this um, um, frontisterium. So um, everybody there was so, um, uh, they were so strict, but it was for the better. Okay. So anyway, everybody was so strict that one day I didn't, uh, I didn't perform at this one task and they sent me home. And he actually told me, the owner, he told me, I love this guy, he, he was fantastic, he was, uh, he was amazing. So he told me that, you know what, um, you either go home and never come back here, or uh, you study, you spend, it was, I think it was Friday, and he asked me to go back to the frontisterio on a Sunday to take a full test, and I was supposed, I was, I was, uh, I, uh, I was technologiki, so I was in, uh, I had chosen the technological direction, if that, that's something that I can say anyway. <laughs> anyway, so um, it was Mathematica Katevtinsis, so I go back and I had to memorize 100, uh, one, why am I sitting like this? <laughs> it's really unnatural. <laughs> so anyway, I had to memorize 100, um, logarithms and things like that and I was like shit but for some reason I didn't want to fail my parents okay what I didn't want to fail me I didn't want to fail my my friends I was like how am I gonna go missing at the front from the front studio you know overnight because because that was one of the practices apparently and again I love them for that because it was an amazing wake-up call so I went there and it was, I woke up on Saturday and I spent 14 hours and uninterrupted, okay? I just, I, I didn't even go, you know, I, I, I go into the kitchen and have them go like, uh, there's nothing here. Five minutes later, uh, fridge, no, there's nothing here. Okay, so I didn't do that. I, 14 hours straight, I studied and studied and studied. I went back on a Sunday. I killed the test. I... It was amazing. I passed with flying colors. Everything, all hundred of these logarithms were correct. I went back on Monday and that same professor gave us a test and there were like all these exercises and I was like, shit, I've studied all 100 of them and I, I do not know what I'm doing. I was just like, shit, 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 all the time, shit, shit. And at some point I have, I have this, this, I don't know, like ludicrous or ridiculous, absurd result, like something like, I don't know, square root of minus 35,000, I don't know, whatever. It was crazy. And I was like, shit. And he goes like, um, has anyone found, um, has, anyone, has anyone gotten this? And I was like, because he was, you know, doing circles in class, it was like he saw it and now he's doing this on purpose in order to you know, um, I don't know, humiliate me or something. Uh, and so I go like, okay, let's go. And I go like, yes, I found it. And he goes like, correct. And I'm like, shit, is he playing me? And like the voices in my head, is he playing me? Maybe he's playing you, honey. No, 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 he's a teacher, he can do that. Maybe he's playing you. And he goes like, oh, and by the way, those exercises were from uh, the Olympics, from mathematics. Shit. And to this day, this is something that I keep telling everyone. I did this in one day. Why? Because honestly, I had no idea I could do it. Uh, no one told me that you can do this, of course. Apparently, if you ask me, I probably thought I couldn't do it. But I, I thought it would be, you know, it would be okay if I gave it, if I gave it a shot. There's nothing to lose if you try harder. I mean, we try harder for so many things. If it's uh, if it's going to the beach, we always try hard to lose those extra pounds. Okay, we always uh, do our be do our best in order to I don't know get the perfect makeup or n have no wrinkles around our eyes or anything like for things which are normal. Okay, but we never try harder. Uh, 
for you know we, we never try harder for the things that just for the backstage things like the backstage that don't get the, the kind of thing that doesn't get let's say glorified um in front of a camera like whether that camera is an actual camera or like or like i don't know like the instagram thing okay so you want the cream around your eyes you want the i don't know the glitter you know you want this you want that you want all of that but because you know that you'll be, you'll have a reward afterwards. You have many likes. You'll have many I don't know many comments. You'll have people loving you or falling in love with you. But when it comes to studying harder or working harder, we don't have the same kind of drive, the same kind of motivation. Why why do we lack this kind of motivation? Because nobody is gonna be there. We think there's not there, there there's not gonna be anyone at the finish line. But guess what? You can put a mirror right there at the finish line and see yourself and congratulate yourself. Do it.